from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. State health officials have released new numbers in Florida's COVID-19 outbreak. They're reporting nearly 8,000 new cases and 96 additional deaths since yesterday. We've seen more than 1 million total COVID-19 cases since the pandemic began. The other number we're continuing to watch, the statewide positivity rate for new cases. Health officials say yesterday's rate went up to almost 8%. A boil water notice will remain in effect until at least Thursday following yesterday's water main break. The city of Tampa says crews are almost finished making the repairs, but samples will need to be taken of the water, which then must be cleared by the health department. The water main break happened just outside the David Tippin water treatment facility in northeast Tampa. Tampa streetcars are getting a major upgrade thanks to funding. Leaders want not just tourists, but people living in the city of Tampa to use the streetcar system instead of driving. That's why a $67.3 million grant from the state will go into the extension and modernization of these streetcars. The new streetcar system is expected to be finished by the end of 2026. In other news, the FDA is posting a positive review of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. It confirms the vaccine's effectiveness against COVID-19 is is 95% as Pfizer previously reported and an FDA advisory committee will discuss emergency authorization this Thursday. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. Dennis. Hey, don't everybody frost advisories in effect in the light blue shaded areas with temperatures come wake up time mostly in the 30s. Here's a closer look at those temperatures 40s in Pinellas County mid to upper 30s Hillsborough County low to mid 30s Citrus Sumter and Hernando County or rather Citrus Yes, some Citrus Sumter and Hernando counties with Pasco County right along the coast. Maybe not quite as cold where there are no advisories in effect, but otherwise even Polk County and Highlands and Hardy and DeSoto get into the act with temperatures come wake up time in the mid to upper 30s. And then a warm up begins by Friday into Saturday before yet another cool down by early next week.